Ain't that something? The fella that ain't done nothing just comes up late and sits down in a chair and he gets on you. No, but what's so bad is the camera had every one of them. <laughs> I just hope it got the last one that folded up. I turned around to film the camera, or the holes. There were ten holes stacked up right there. That'd be some good video there, boy. morning. This is Tim Wallace, guest cameraman for Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. We're at the Watery Drive on December 31st. Been a lot of rain around here. Things are wet. Gonna be hard to hear them coming, but maybe we'll get lucky and get something on camera. We'll let you know once things get started. Captain Buster of Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. Fixing to start the first drive. Here's one of our best drivers right here ready to go. Of course, he'll probably shoot deer before he gets out here to us. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I might just make him run a little bit faster. Yeah, that's exactly what you'll do. Make it a challenge for you. You kill them too. All right, I'll turn you on when they start driving. Morning, folks. This is me throwing Bubba around here outdoors up here. 97 with our annual man drive hunt. Been man driving all day. Ain't no dogs gonna be here today. It's just us. Mainly the young folks. We driving because the old folks can't can't walk as far as we can. So get ready to start first hunt here now. Waiting on everybody. How many you got left, though? First hunt, real foggy this morning, so real wet, so we're gonna have to do a good job of driving, get these deer up, have to step on them to get them up. But stay tuned, see what happens. God, I claim your safety, your protection, and your blessings. On each person who will die, Father. Fat boy, there's a deer coming to you. Fat boy, deer coming to you. Fat boy, deer coming to you. Look down the hill. Look down the hill. Other side of that bottom, fat boy, down the road towards I walked in.
Gun got them. They, they've done a pile of shooting. I heard a couple of hours ago. I just seen both cross the road back up there last week. It was just white road. Uh-huh. They probably come from out of here. I hadn't been. I usually don't start with the traffic until the latter part of all. Well, you sure should have seen most of that. Wasn't getting a lot of warning from them coming through those pines, but out of all that mess, I've got one down, I'm in another one. We'll go look for it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what happens when deer try to overrun you. You just get a bunch of holes for Wade to reload. Uh, who shot? Who shot? None of the drivers. <laughs> Evidently, you shot. Every one of them on camera. Every one of them? Are you serious? Yeah. One out of nine. What? Hey, it only takes me nine shells to get warmed up. I killed on the team. One out of nine. Well, I got another one down, but I couldn't find Wait it. Wait a minute. Hold on. One. One. How many you got? Huh? No. Shut, hey, <laughs> shut up, Dan. <laughs> I mean, if they'd have come, let's see, one for nine. If you had a ball player batting one for nine. No. Uh, hold no, on, let hold me on, clarify on, that. Man. If he's one for nine, he ain't batting. <laughs> I was contributing it for weight. Coach, <laughs> Coach, I mean, if you had a ball player trying to bat and he batting one for nine or ten for ninety, He's a pitcher. That, that he, he don't bat. So what do we need to do with you? Get me some more shells. Okay. I ain't got but 15 now. Uh, you ain't got but 15. Yeah. If you need some more holler, I got some. And I ain't never going to hear the end of this from Robert. I kill a deer, can't even get a break. Kill one to get a break. So you did all the shooting that was on that line? I shot 10 times. I ain't going to claim all of it. Where's your truck? I'll throw these into the back. Throw, throw them in, uh, I think Wade's uh, backpack is, is in the back seat. Of Opie's truck? That's my truck. Opie was just driving it. Y'all did a good job. Did excellent. Except you didn't drive me diddly squat. Did you shoot? Okay, I was going to slap you, boy. You didn't even have the camera. He didn't have the camera. He left the camera in the truck. Did anybody else shoot or did coach do all the shooting? All of them. I seen them crossing like they look like they about 30 foot long when they crossed. <laughs> but just one this one you got? Yeah, we'll bite the Well, here's the proof, people. It don't look like to me the hindquarters gonna be any good. So yeah, I couldn't catch up to them. <laughs> Well, you almost did. <laughs> I didn't do it before. But good morning, everybody. David Stokes, Bubba Round Tree Outdoors. We already had the first drive. Killed a few, missed a lot. Lining up the second drive. We just made it in here. Trying to get the rest of the standards figured out. We'll be on in a minute. Hold tight. All right, we're lining up the second hunt. 
I had this same stand year before last right here and one got by me on this highway. And then last year, another guy had it and one got by him here. So hopefully they'll try it again and I'll, I won't let him get by. But anyway, I'll cut you on when they start. All right, folks, here we go, getting ready for the second drive. As you can see, I made a mess on the first one. I only got one out of all those I shot at, but this show was a lot of fun. Hopefully all those were on film. We'll turn you back on when we get started here. That was me. It was coming from you and running parallel with this big bottom. I made a heck of a shot on it. That sucker was scatting now. Yeah, send him back up through those pines back towards the other drivers. Well, I don't know if we got it on camera or not, but uh, Cade Nesbitt come down to me. Uh, he uh, jumped the deer right on the property line, and the uh, deer came paralleling the big bottom right there. And I had one shot at him, I took it, and we were successful. We got him. That's my driver that jumped him for me right there. All right, stay tuned. They're still shooting. And nobody ever seen him after that. All right, tell your story. Uh, well, yesterday the drive was about over with today, but so I was in there taking me a, a leisure walk around, checking out this bottom I was in, looking for scrapes and rubs. Well, all of a sudden I heard something coming, and I had a little buck and a doe coming right at me. One time a piece, I rolled both of them. We're about to start the third third man drive. All right, they just started drive number three, which will be my last drive for the day. I don't know whether they're gonna hunt anymore or not, but I ain't, I'm heading for the house after this, but I hope I kill a couple. So I'm going around right here.
Big boat, big boat, big boat, coming back to where we drove. Gabe, Robert, big boat, big boat. Tell him on the radio, Beck. Now there's a buck with him. Hey, I'm right coming at you. There's a big buck with him. You ain't coming through. Where are you? I'm coming at you right here. There's a big buck behind him. I seen his horns right up here, coming right at you. Get him, Cade! Bro, he was like that. I seen three deer right there. It might be what they're talking about right here. Get ready. Where'd he cross? I, I had just looked to the left. Do you think you hit him? <laughs> Lord have mercy, if I could have caught glimpses of him coming, I'd have had a good shot at him. Hope he shot him a nice book down there where he's at. Go left! Wait, we're supposed to be going a little bit more to the left. The deer are out in the drive. I don't know what happened to the big buck. It was two days and I seen his horns. They were golden. Huh? I guess he wheeled. When I, sh when I started yelling, they were going straight to you, I started yelling, I seen the buck turn around. I heard you click and shut. They were coming dead at y'all. I shouldn't have said nothing, but I didn't know if y'all seen them or not. I don't know. Go left or what? No, right back where we came from. Where me and Beck come from. Beck did. And Brandon. It was two does and a nice buck. Yes, sir. I seen four deer that drive. I ain't pulled the trigger yet. I seen three. He jumped the two does in the nice buck. I don't know. EJ shot at the two does, and I think Opie shot at the buck. I don't know. I, I dropped my radio in the creek. Yeah. Shots like I saw two does. It was in between me and another drive. Yeah, they landing like stuff like this yep. in the middle of these pines. <laughs> I don't know if they want to. Yeah, that's what they're getting out of. Yes. You want me to carry that chair out? You got it. 
Oh, I care. I got. We got more deer up here this year than we ever have. <laughs> Jazz, get your butt away from here, you filthy thing, you. That one was just killed. They got several they got to get out the woods. There's two in the back of Greg's truck. Back of Greg's? What's that? Where's his truck? What's in the back? Right there. Yeah, over there. Back up in that cut. Cut. Oh, yeah, where I just got at. Well, y'all look tired. I mean, I'm just as fresh as I can be. <laughs> but I'll, I'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to the house. You going to the house? I'm going to the house. Okay, yes, please. Right, there's two more they got. Yeah, them two big old does there. Who killed? EJ. EJ. He was last stand on the corner before they turned to go down into the creek. He was standing right beside the truck. The big buck was running with them two right there. Okay, did he see him? No, no he never he's... seen the big buck. Yeah, I know. He, he run right between me and Opie. Yeah. And I was looking. I think he ran up there towards where they were at because after he shot, he shot the five times pretty fast. And it was a long time before that deer got back around and come out on open. I mean, it was, you know, good five five minutes or more. Yeah. Boy, I'd love to have seen that, but of course, I ain't no way I could have shot. You didn't even see it when it crossed the road? No, I didn't. I, I was I was hoping I done heard them yeah. fellas shooting up there. Yeah, and, and so what I was doing, I was trying to catch a glimpse of them out there in the woods, and I, so I'd be ready. And all of a sudden, Opie shoots. Twist like that, and all it's hard to get somebody where they can see every. Yeah, exactly right. Even as close as we was, it still got out. And thanks a ton to all of those wonderful folks that are already supporting this channel through Patreon. And if you would like to become a patron and help support this channel, if you like the content, what you see, head on over to www.patreon.com slash Outdoors, and you can sign up for whatever you want to sign up for. We appreciate all of it.